let's talk about some money now. Whoever wins the presidential election is going to have to navigate several financial issues, including the soon-to-expire Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Unless lawmakers intervene, an estimated 60% of taxpayers will see their tax bill increase. Let's talk about this a little bit, because maybe this is impacting how you're choosing to vote, and, and should it? Let's find out from financial instructor Michael Mazarant of the Retirement Education Foundation. So, Michael, I know we don't like to get too political when we talk about <laughs> finances, especially now, uh, less than a week before the election. But it, how does this election impact people directly, or so, will it? So it will from a tax perspective, because in, so in 2017, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was enacted, and that reduced taxes across the board for almost everybody. It reduced the tax rates, it increased child tax credits, it increased standard deductions. So it brought taxes down, it brought taxes down for corporations, for across the board, almost everybody. and. When that Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was enacted, it was designed to sunset, to expire at the end of 2025. And back in 2017, people are thinking, that's way down the road, we'll tackle that when we get there, and now we're pretty close to getting there. Mm. So whoever wins the election, both in the White House and you pointed out earlier in Congress, will help to you know, determine, does that tax code get extended? Does it expire? Does it get adjusted? And if it expires as it is set to, then taxes go higher back to what they were prior to the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act for almost everyone across the board. So it is important. And what has been said about this in the discourse that we can glean from each candidate what will happen to this particular legislation? So neither candidate has been really willing to put their stake in the ground in terms of I will or I will not extend that particular Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Um, you know, the act was enacted under uh, former President Trump, so I'm assuming he would like to extend it. It was one of his big policy wins. Now, they both have mentioned of several other tax uh, agendas in terms of uh, corporate tax taxes, social security taxes, child tax care credits. But again, the president isn't able to just stroke a pen and change the tax law. There does need some support from Congress to come along with that. So mm -hmm. what can people do now, I guess, if anything, to prepare for what's ahead? For sure. So in terms of preparing, ideally, you know, if someone has not ever thought about their current or future tax bills, now is the best time to start doing it. Even though taxes may be changing, let's start thinking about it. And what's really challenging for a lot of people is that when it comes to tax planning, it's not about trying to minimize taxes in one given year. It's about trying to minimize our lifetime tax bill. So if we're working and we're saving, choosing to save into a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA is a tax choice. What tax bracket are we in right now? What is our future projected tax bracket in retirement? Everything should, be, should come down to the next 20 or 30 year projection, not just looking at our tax bill this year in a vacuum. Let's talk about that Roth IRA just because that, that can be so beneficial. So in other words, if you open a Roth IRA now and you're saving money uh, that not not taxed, right? Tax After free? tax. After Meaning tax. So Roth IRA, you pay the taxes this year, put the money into the Roth IRA, and then it grows tax-free and you can take it out tax-free down the road. Okay. Now the trick is, if someone's in a high tax bracket right now and potentially in a lower tax bracket in retirement, you want the tax break right now and you're willing to pay the lower taxes in the future. Right. So that person might want to put the money into a traditional 401k to get the tax break now. Right, right, right. But again, we can't know these things unless we make a plan to figure out what's my current tax rate and my future tax rate. That tells us the answer. And again, you know, moral of the story, just to bottom line it, it knowing the tax code really is so important because oh. it can save you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars so try to educate yourself on how can you do that though right you know the knowing that all these tax well, well mean, you use resources like that. that's what I'm saying I mean there's, I mean, uh, there's some free resources right? on the but that's that's where you get the help yeah you know so we have resources on our website there are lots of resources online and for a lot of people you know the the, the taxes especially if someone's a w-2 income earner the taxes aren't rocket science but it, it is important to make sure we're saving into the correct accounts for now versus the future no yeah. doubt about yeah, it simplify it as much as possible exactly. and get help uh, website where people can find you and some free materials and quizzes and everything on, on your website. Yep, refedu.org. Refedu.org. Michael, thanks so much. Thank of course. you, Michael. All right.